Amen. Without further ado, I would like to introduce the, the, the speaker of the hour. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anointed woman of God. She started a ministry called Women of Valor about 10 years ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Now that things are set in order, it's getting ready to come into fruition. Praise God. She is also an evangelist. Praise God. Very prophetic. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's my sister. She's my auntie. She's my grandma. She even tried to be mama. Praise God. And I don't mind, praise God, just as long as I don't get too far with it. But amen, she is a blessing, praise God. Hallelujah, a woman that'll give you the shirt off of her back, praise God, hallelujah. Try to give mine, but I ain't giving it up. But she is a blessing, she will take you there. And I thank God that she is getting ready to bring the word today, amen, because it's been a long time coming. So without further ado, I would like to bring to you Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. God is so good, and we just thank God for what he's doing. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name, Jesus, for you are God all by yourself. So we thank you for your spirit in this house. We thank you for your presence, your love, your joy, your peace. Lord, I ask you to go before me today, God, like never before. God, I thank you. But I'll lean only on you, God, because I can do nothing without your help. Lord, I ask you that only the oracles of you will proceed out of my mouth in the name of Jesus. We bind up everything that's out of you, God. We arrest confusion, division, everything that's out of you, God. We thank you. We praise you, Father God, that you're our Father. We thank you tonight. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We just worship your name tonight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Jesus. You've been so good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. I thank God for ministering tonight. Amen. It took me a minute. Amen. I didn't know what I was ministering on. I, I'm a last minute person. But God is good. Amen. I, I thank him for what he's doing, what he's done, and what he's going to do, and what he's been doing. Amen. And we just give God the praise tonight. We thank him. You know, the Bible says that no weapon formed against you, it'll never prosper. And that you are the head and you're not the tail. You are blessed going in, you're blessed going out. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. You know, we serve, you know, we always say we serve a big God, a mighty God. We serve a big God that owns the earth and the fullness thereof. Amen. You want to join heir with Christ, and Christ is seated on the right hand of the Father. Amen. See, we have to remember that, see, because, you know, the enemy is out to what? Kill, kill. kill steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that you may have life, not just life, but abundant life. Amen? But sometimes, you know, when we get caught up in situations, we, we think about, you know, you have all these troubles in your mind, but you have that, that's when it comes to praising God and getting before God, getting in the Word of God, renewing your mind by the Word of God. Amen? See, the Word of God, we know what it says. It is quick, it is powerful, and it's sharp than any two-edged sword. Any two-edged sword. That's the Word of God. That's why we have to get in the Word to know what the Word of God is saying to us. See, the Word of God is a map to your life. Amen? I've told people over and over again, 
again, get in the word. Renew your mind by the word. Get in Proverbs. Read the word of God. See, the enemy don't want us to get in the word. He don't want you to know nothing about what the word of God is saying. Amen? But this is the last and evil days and we need to get in the word. We need to know what does the word say about me? Why did this man, Jesus, why did he come? Who is this man? Amen? Let's get in the word. Amen. I want you guys, the title of my message, if you want to give it a title, amen, is to shake it off and let God handle it. Shake it off. And let God handle it. I don't care what you're going through. Shake it off. And let God handle it. Amen. Glory be to God. Let's go to Isaiah 53, 4 and 7. Thank you, Jesus. That's a familiar scripture. It is a familiar scripture. I've read it so many times. Amen. Shake it off. And let God handle it. Come on now. See, we try to handle it on our own. Uh-huh. But God is telling me to tell you to shake it off. Come on. And let God handle it. Amen? Because you can't handle it no way. We weren't meant to handle it. Amen? Our bodies weren't made to handle stress, problems, hatred. Weary. God said, thus said the Lord, shake it off and let God handle it. You need to get that in your spirit. Isaiah 53, 4, 3, 7. And we will read. Is everybody there? Amen. Surely, 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 he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Now, this is what Jesus has already done for you. Amen? And acquainted with grief and... Let's see. I'm sorry. Yet we did esteem him, him stricken, smitten of God... And afflicted. Now let's talk about what is transgression. Now let's talk about what is born. As to withstand something painful or annoying. So that's what he born. Amen. He felt this, what he's been through. He said, to withstand something painful or annoying. Amen. Our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, spent of God, and afflicted. Surely he's born there. He's born our griefs, he's carried and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Yes, hallelujah. Jesus suffered. That's what afflicted me. He suffered. Amen. Amen. But we don't have to carry nothing in our lives. Because he's already done it. This is what Jesus has already done. Surely he's borne our griefs. He's, we, he's taken the pain on his body. And carried our sorrows, all our depression, our rejection, all our hurt. He's already carried that. Amen. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, sin. He was wounded for that. Amen. He was bruised up for our iniquities, wickedness. There's some wicked people out here. Come on. The chastisement of our peace 
what's upon him and with his stripes we are healed. We all, all we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Now this is what Jesus has already done for us. He was bruised. I mean, he had the pain on the inside. All this pain and he was oppressed, troubled of the mind. He was afflicted. He was an innocent person. Amen? Amen. He was like a lamb, amen, like a lamb. He was innocent. He was gentle. And you know, a sheep, he was also timid. But he did that for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're talking about shake it off and let God handle it. Now, if he done all of that, what are you worried about? What are you going through? Why are you troubled in your mind? Why are you oppressed, depressed, walking around with your head down? Why are you not praising God if he's done all of this? If he's carrying all your sorrows, that he's borne your griefs, and he's carrying all your sorrows, yet we did a stand stricken spin of God and afflicted. He did all of that for you and I. Amen? And he was wounded for our transgressions. He was beat down. Come on now. Hallelujah. So it ain't no reason for you to be showing out and worried about this and worried about and depressed and oppressed and walking around with your head down and worrying about where this bill going to be paid and wondering what people are saying about you. And this man has been beat. He's been talked about. He's been whipped. And he said, surely he born all that for you. Come on now. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? So why is your head down? Why are you complaining about this? Why are you sick? Hallelujah. So we got to call on Jesus tonight. The title is shake it off and let God handle it. Because we weren't meant to be worried and going through all these storms and walking around like you're crazy. Complaining about this, complaining about that. Surely he's borne our griefs. Yes. He took all that. He took he, he was said something. The painful, the annoying, all the pain was on this man of God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do y'all know what I'm talking about tonight? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? See, we're not talking about no fairy tale. We're not talking about of the book, uh, about some book of Dick and Jane, we're talking about Jesus. He died that you may have life, and I want to do you want to have a bunch of life? Do you know Jesus? Do you know what I'm talking about? You need to get a revelation, and you need to get in the word of God, and you just pray without ceasing, and you need to get a revelation from him. Because all I can do is tell you what the man of God is saying. But you ain't been connected with God. You won't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. He was wounded for your transgression. Your transgression is your sin. See, back in the days of old, before Jesus came, they had to go through the Holy of Holies. But when Jesus, and you have to go to a priest, but when Jesus came, Come on. hallelujah, you don't have to go through a priest. Come on. All you got to do is, see, he rent that veil in the Holy of Holies. So what you have, all you need to do is go direct to God and cry out to him. And say, God, I need you tonight. I need you in my life. I got some sin, so clean me up. Help me, Lord. I need your help. Because he surely... He borne your griefs. He carried your sorrows. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. And that by 
Jesus Christ you made whole. See, you don't have to be an actual physical, amen. It can be a spiritual deliverance. See, somebody needs to be delivered tonight. Somebody needs to be set free in their life. They need to know that this man named Jesus, he died on the cross. He bore all your sins. He carried all your sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, stricken and spent of God. And he was afflicted. Glory be to God. He had all those stripes. They beat him for you. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is real, people. Hallelujah. And with the stripes, we're healed. Physically, mentally, financially. If you're living and upright before him. See, you need to call on Jesus. 